Thank you for joining us, guys, uh, from all over the world. Uh, we are crazy excited to show you the Sims 4 Get Together, which is out now. It came out earlier this week. Uh, we're going to show you all the really cool features. Uh, happy holidays, by the way. My name is Grant Rodiak. I am the lead producer on the Expansion Pack team. I'm joined by Antonio Romeo, who was one of the producers. He was uh, pretty involved in clubs. And then we have Azure Bowie, who you guys should know at this point. Hi. She was super involved in things like the closet and the cafe and the espresso machine and... That's a good start. Oh, cast, let's cast them. Yeah. So we're gonna get started and I'm gonna stop talking, which is what you guys have all been dying for. This is our beautiful new world, Winnenberg. I hope you like what you're seeing. Over here, actually, if you look in the background, you can see the bluffs, which we're gonna go to in a little bit. Yeah. Um, but let's get back to Kingston here. Perfect, so yeah, as we play the demo, we'll kind of show you the various parts of our new world. But let's go ahead and uh, jump straight into clubs. So in the bottom right-hand corner, you'll notice a brand new icon, which is our clubs panel. And when you click it, you're prompted with a brand new button, it just simply says join a club. So what do we see here, Azure? What are we looking at with all these? We're looking at clubs that the team has created so that you can jump right in without having to create your own. And you can see a lot of information here at the beginning. You can see that there are some that you have to apply to invite, which means, well, not qualified, which is what we're seeing right now. And that means that you can't join this club because you're missing something. And it looks like you need uh, to have DJ mixing or dancing skills. So you actually need to be good at the nightlife style yes. to yeah. do this. So Antonio, what is one of uh, what, what are some other things like the apply for invite? What does that mean? So apply for invite. This is an invite only club. When you perform the apply for invite, one of the members will call you up on your phone, ask you to come over and hang out with them, and then from there you'll need to impress the members in order to actually join the club. And then and then some of these other ones you could just join outright. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. I can just join the good timers if I wanted to right exactly. now. Exactly. Um, so do you have a club in particular, Antonio, that you'd like us to check out? Um, let's check out the Paragons. All right. So if we go into the details here, we can see a bunch of new information. We have their icon up top. This is the little icon above their head in the world that represents the club. We can see a bunch of various activities and the members. Um, so we Let, let's stop talking about. It. Let's just go. Sure. Let's so go. do we want to do we want to apply? Yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and apply. So you can just click apply for invite. We're gonna accept their yeah, call. Yeah, yeah. And she's like, Hey Kingston, I heard you're interested in joining the Paragons. You should come hang out with us. It was really important to us with clubs that. It's, it's lightning quick to get into it. You don't have to dig and go through a lot of tutorial and stuff. And basically, you just click a button down there, pick the one you want, and they're going to go ahead and invite you. So we're just going to go right on and join them. Perfect. Um, that's a really good tip. Try diving off a jumping platform. Yeah, hope you're good at you it. Shouldn't, you shouldn't try to um, eat off a jumping platform. <laughs> they're not for eating. <laughs> you t you t when do I get my mouse back, Steve? All right, Steve took my mouse. I got my mouse back. So. <laughs> We, they've started a club gathering and we're showing up here. So Antonio, why are we here in particular? Why was this place the one we came to? So the, the club's hangout is picked to be this specific pool lot. So, so, so they chose this pool as our place to exactly. hang out. Exactly. And when you go ahead and create your clubs, you'll be able to designate specific but, locations. But we'll See. get into that in a minute. So Azure, what are all these icons I'm seeing here? The icons above their head indicate that they're in a club gathering. So you can see that their symbol, the butterfly, is inside of this uh, this shape that's above their head, and that means that they're together in a gathering. So Antonio, tell us a little bit about how this cool. is. Going. So we're gonna build a little bit of a relationship with her. We didn't want to make joining clubs difficult, so it, it doesn't take very much. <laughs> but basically, Rinka. you want to talk to them, build some relationship, a couple of socials, um, and then go ahead to the new clubs menu right here. <laughs> uh -huh. and you can talk about the club. Um, so let's do the get to know. Maybe sure, let's, let's get to know Forca? her. Um, ah. say. Maybe I think we're, we should Volume. be good. We should be able to apply right now. <laughs> and so now we can click. You can see at the surface Proba level. We can apply to the Paragons. Perfect. And That's you can see the little icon here. Yeah, Please fingers down. crossed. Fingers oh. crossed. <laughs> can we get a worldwide <laughs> fingers crossed from the Sims community? Oh, <laughs> see what happened. And she's excited. She looks good. Yeah. We join. So a couple things just happened. We have been introduced into this club, and so it went ahead and put us in the gathering. And the other thing is, we're all wearing club outfits, which we've set, and we're gonna go into this more in a second, yeah. but everyone here in this club wears pink, and that's why you'll notice that everyone that's here has... Say. Uh, <laughs> so that's why you notice that everyone is wearing pink. Yeah. So, Antonio, what are they gonna be doing here at this venue? So they, they set up their club hangout to be the pool. And as you see here, we've kind of gone ahead and built in a club hangout for them. The players, you guys will all be able to build your own club hangouts. But here we can see that they have a little door here. They can they lock this door to only allow their club in. So you have to be a member of the Paragons to get in here. Exactly. Uh, they have kind of all their stuff set up to meet their club rules. So as you can see... What, and what are their rules? What does that mean? You can see in the right-hand corner here, uh, we have drink coffee. We have try-on clothes. 
And then we have another one that's kind of like a, a yelling one, which is being Nerf mean to the renegades. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So, so who, who are the renegades? So the renegades and the paragons are sort of our conflict we built into the into the Windenburg, Windenburg world. The Windenburg renegades are awesome. World. They're my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> so the, the renegades are sort of like your 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 kind of punk. Your your sort of uh, they do their own thing. And if you notice here, they like to sabotage stuff and they're mischievous to folks. But also they're mean to the paragons and they also hang out at the club. You know the drama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They also hang out at the pool. Reading yeah. is hard. One thing you notice about The Sims, and this is a live demo, so we don't really know what's going to happen, yeah. but if the renegades were to show up here, they would be mean to the paragons and vice versa. And you can create all sorts of rival groups. Like, you can have the elders that go to the park and are just mean to little kids if you yeah. want. Um, so so why, is this, why is this green, Antonio? Why does this guy have a green... You know why is, this, why is this butterfly green right now? So whenever your club members are performing club activities, they'll, their icon will glow green, signaling that, hey, they're doing an encouraged behavior. So she's trying on clothes, which is something she should be doing, exactly. and they're drinking coffee, and that's because the rules are drinking coffee and trying on clothes. Exactly. Um, so, like, why can't I change the rules? So you only the leader of the group will be able to modify the, the rules and the members of the club, but... If, if you join a club, you can always overthrow them. Yes. Is that, is that, is that like, Azure, how would you like to take over a club? Mm, how I would take over this club is, uh, I would <laughs> She just spilled coffee all over her face. I would schmooze up to everybody, I would get to know everybody, make friends with everybody in the club, and then I'd turn them against Siobhan. So you'd like to do slowly, a traditional, traditional coup? Diabolically. Antonio, do you have a way that you would like to take over this club? Yeah, personally, I like to be a little nicer. Uh, I would get to know Siobhan and talk to her and become friends with her, and then I'd politely ask her to step down. So you have both those options. You can either do it nicely and kind of slowly take over the club and, and be friends with everyone, or you can be like Azure and just destroy the club from within and take control. So, so we don't have time in this demo to to show you Azure's grand coup. Yes. And also you guys probably want to see us create our own club, so let's go ahead and talk about that. So in the drop down, you can, you can belong to three clubs, which means you can create three or you can join three. Exactly. And the cool thing is, is you can actually go around the world and create clubs for sims you don't play, mm -hmm. but you could tell them where to hang out and how to act, and you can you can effectively change the autonomy and behavior of everyone in the world. You can create this madhouse world full of, like you can basically make Mad Max, you know, Windenburg if you yeah. want. Um, so Antonio, what, what are these top three things? What are these first choices we have? So this is sort of just define your club a little bit. You have the icon you can select from a preset of, of icons here. You can name your club and put a description. So Azure, do you have an icon you like? Let's choose the bear. Always Perfect. the bear. Antonio, <laughs> what, are, what are we going to call ourselves? Uh, can, we, can we go, what, what do we want? Um, Ursine. Oh yeah, Ursine? it was like, er, okay. Ur Ursine signs, er, us. Ursine. And, then, and then we could basically say like, uh, whoops, all right, I'm, I'm having to type behind the microphone, so this is, so we like Luke, we like Bear, sh stuff. 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 Okay, so <laughs> Azure, what does open invitation mean? What is, like, open invite only, what do those mean for us? Open invitation is really awesome. It means that anybody can ask you to join the club. So anybody uh, can other, join So like your neighbors club. will ask you? Absolutely. That's pretty cool. Invite only means that you have to invite them to join your club. Okay, let's let's do open or invitation. Or your sim has to invite them. Uh, we're gonna come back to club hangout. So we can click on this to add members, and this shows all these different people, but I think we wanna be a little more discerning. Mm -hmm. um, the requirements can be pretty uh, pretty powerful. Can you tell us about this tool, Antonio? Sure. So the club requirements are one of the very powerful tools and about you just, clubs. You just click this button and it pops it up. Exactly. So you can look at the club requirements as sort of a sim filter. This will allow you to filter out all the sims in your world to fill your club with like-minded sims. And it's also a way that you could find out things about other sims, which exactly. we'll show you in a yes. second. So uh, do you want to mess with some traits maybe? Sure. So I know Kingston is ambitious, so let's okay. go ahead and select that one to make sure he can be a part of the club. Um, and as you see in the lower left-hand corner, he has a little check mark, check mark next to his name, which means he qualifies. Um, um, yeah, let's let's pick some other ones. So dance machine. There's a quick thing to note here: <laughs> if you select multiple options within one requirement, it'll be or. So we want Sims to be ambitious, bro, or they can have the dance machine. They don't need to have all of them. And if, or and if, and if you yeah. wanted them to have multiple traits, you could actually set this up and say they must have ambitious. This one. They must have yeah. bro. Exactly. So we could also set other things. What about like marital status? Do we want to sure. say like single people only? Yeah. Yes. What do you think, Azure? Mm -hmm. I think, yeah. I think it leaves room for fun. And then do we want to do any more rules? Or like we could also, like we'll probably leave it open for now. Yeah, but I think, I think we that could should set be good. Skill level, like we could say only fishermen can be yeah. in here. 
Um, we could say only elders or child, 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 children. Child, children. children. Um, only people who are astronauts. Like yeah. you can create a science club if you yeah, want to. That was one of the yes. first things I did. I joined the science <laughs> career, and and clubs is going to support all of our previous. Which works packs. really well yeah. with uh, get to work. So I joined my science career, and then I created a club after work. I would all hang out with my science coworkers. So now with the requirements, this will actually filter out that these are the Sims who are both not married and are either a bro a ambitious you know dance machine yep. or uh, the other one single, which yeah. single so uh marcus flex is pretty cool yeah. um azure who do you like alvin has a pretty awesome alvin beard Ruben, i like that let's look at that let's pretty alvin. sweet we got to get some ladies in here uh, jade rosa cassandra and cassandra goth, goth. Sure, and then let's do uh wolfgang Wunsch. i kind of like Jay Huntington the third. Oh yes. yeah, he's, he's great. <laughs> so now we filled up our club, and actually we can't add more members because we need to get some perks yeah. there, and we're going to talk right. about that in a second. So club activities, uh, Antonio, what, what is what does it what does it mean to be a club activity? What is this green thumb? So club green green things are good behaviors, and as you saw, the the icon above what is happening? <laughs> the, the icon above the Sims head turned green because they were performing one of these. If you set a bad one, which is the red thumbs down, the icon would actually turn red as well. So these are things that your Sims will want to do while you're in a club gathering. Well, so let's think about where we're going to hang out. I think we're going to hang out probably by the ruins. Uh, let's do the bluffs. I think oh, the bluffs oh, yeah, would be dumb, good. Dumb. Yeah, I get those mixed up because yeah. they both have ruins. Yeah. So um, they have a swimming pool, which yeah, we want to do, do. They also have the new jump platform, which is Perfect. pretty cool. Um, what about some social traits? Like, is there something we, we want to like hug people or something? Or yeah. Let's it's, all about hug. Is, so what does this everyone mean? What does this thing mean? So whenever you select a social rule, you'll get a new option to actually target specific clubs. You can target specific, if we click the drop down there, mm -hmm. we can actually target an age group. We're only only going to hug say, teens. Exactly. We're only going to hug elders. elders. Yeah. We're so, the, the that'd be a nice little, So we're going to hug Earth signs or us, and we're going to hug the Paragons, because that's our other crew. Yeah, we'll be nice. To um, and let's 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 choose one more. Is there something Azure that would amuse you if we did? Uh, let's have them roar. <laughs> so one thing about the roar, uh, and we're gonna yeah, dip mischief. into this a minute. Uh, oh, this, oh yeah, mischief mayhem. Yeah, yeah. Um, is mayhem. that you have to have. Uh, what was it? Out, out, outdoor, outdoor retreat. retreat. I know yes. all the our code names in my head, and then I know the names that we actually <laughs> released them as, so I have to remember which one we call it. Um, you have to have Outdoor Retreat to do this, but the really cool thing about clubs is that they right now support a lot of content from all the different expansions. Yeah. So mm -hmm. the more expansions and content you have, the more flexible it is. And we should just roar to Can we roar everyone. at our club? <laughs> Let's uh, just roar at our club. So Earth Signs or Us are like roar, and they're like they're roar. roar. Yeah. Um, so one thing to note, um, and this is something that uh, Dave Motke wanted us to bring up. Uh, hey, Dave. Um, is that, you know, we, we've had some people who are already playing the game. They have like five different activities chosen. And they're like, oh, they're not doing this one thing I said. The thing is, is if you have five Sims and you told them to do five things, they're going to pick from all of those based yeah. on the objects they have, the socials they have. So if you tell them to like woohoo and dance and do this and do that, they're going to pick one of those. And they're not always going to basically do the one that you want. They have five options. So if you want them to do just one thing, you should just do one or three traits. Mm -hmm. And so the cool thing is, is you can always change them, assuming you're the leader. Yes. yes. So what are these band, um, band activities? <laughs> Band, what is happening here? <laughs> uh, the, the band activities are things that your Sims will be discouraged to so do. So they're not going to do these yeah, things. They won't do it. Sometimes your your club members will get a little rebellious and they'll mm -hmm. actually do it. And that's when their icon will turn red, cluing you in. So And when that happens, you can actually go you over can and scold, scold them. You scold them and get mad at them. Yeah. And it's also a way for you to sort of like troll your club to see if they're paying exactly. attention. So we're bears and bears by their very nature have that natural smell. Yeah. So, so let's say that our Sims are not supposed to bathe <laughs> and shower. Now, one thing to keep in mind is... These rules only apply when they're in a gathering. So yeah. this doesn't mean that your Sims will go home and not bathe and shower. This means that when you're in a gathering, they They'll will not bathe and shower. Right. Is there anything else, Azure, that would appeal to you that they shouldn't be doing? This is a nice club, so let's have them... Uh... Not be mean? Yeah. Is there somebody they shouldn't be mean to? Like anyone or like don't be mean to teens or don't be mean to anyone? What do don't you want? Don't be mean to yeah. anyone. That's just rude. This is okay. a friendly bunch. <laughs> so we're going to talk about club points in a second when we get some. Club Hangout. Antonio, Perfect. tell me about these options. So Club Hangout, you have a few different options here. So if you want to build a, a club that kind of just jumps around to various bars and like has enjoys different places, you can set any of a specific venue. So if we did this, this means that our Sims would hang out at a gym, but it, like which gym? They could be yeah. at the one in Willow Creek, they could be at the mm -hmm. one in Windenburg, yeah. but they don't really care. And this one's kind of cool if you're creating NPC clubs that you're not planning on playing because you'll see them in different places. Exactly. Uh, the, the bar option is really fun because then you can see people do a bar crawl. Yeah. 
So Azure, what about this specific one though? The specific location is how you can really dial it down and say we want them to meet at this one place. Um, so let's go ahead and choose the bluffs. Do bluffs. Yeah. Yeah. And so we've already set this up and you guys might recognize this building from some of our trailers. Our video mm -hmm. team made this for us. We have gone in. These are not what the bluffs will look like on your lot when you sh when you get the game. Yeah. We sort of customized them a little bit, but you can go to Manage Worlds at any time, pick any lot, and if you want, you can even just add a little private shack, and then you can put lock the door and say only, you know, the Ursines or us or the Paragons yeah. can yeah. hang out here. Your own private club. So hangout. we're saying that our group will always hang out at the bluffs, and we've gone in and built a thing that's going to look really sweet. So Perfect. it looks like we have everything we like here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go ahead and do this. The cool thing, again, we really wanted this to all be super flexible and you could do it immediately. Now that we have Ursines or Us, we can just click this button right here and start a gathering. Yep. See? And it's gonna tell us, do you wanna gather at the Bluffs, which is the hangout, and if we said the gym, say, would you wanna hang out at the gym? Or we can gather where you currently are. So this means that like, you could be at home, you could be at the bar, and you could be like, hey everybody, I want you to show up. And we're gonna show you how powerful this is, because we're gonna say gather at the Bluffs, and everyone's gonna be there. Yep. Um, sometimes your Sims can't show up, but generally speaking, we're gonna try to make yeah. them be there. Yeah. And this is, you know, always really fun. This is the script, guys. This is, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> wait, we forgot one specific thing to yes, really we forgot bring our club together. Thing. We forgot uniforms. Yes. <laughs> Azure, what are the style uniforms? The style uniforms are, um, you can basically say, I want my, my club to be boho, I want them to be hipster, and the game will randomize. And, and this is just like a really quick way sense. based on, um, we've gone through and tagged, uh, we did this in base game actually, mm -hmm. we've yeah. gone through and tagged every single asset and create a sim so that we can basically do weird creative stuff with them so that we know that like this is trendy and yeah. this is cool. It's smart randomization. We can also, like we saw with the Paragon, say that everyone's <laughs> gonna be pink. I've been told to slow down. <laughs> everyone's gonna be pink or green yeah. or brown, mm -hmm. but like, Let's say we want to do something yes. really customized. Yeah. Uh, this is my favorite part. I love to, yeah. to go in and customize exactly what my Sims are going to wear. Mm -hmm. And this is super powerful too, because not only can you customize one specific outfit, but you can customize an outfit for every single outfit category. <laughs> and you can customize five outfits per category. And what's so, cool here is based on the situation, they'll vary it so that like, you know, we're all about bears here, because this is yeah. Signs or Us. So we're gonna say that there might either be the panda bear or the American brown what bear. What about let's throw a polar bear in there too? Let's get yeah. three. Do you wanna do three? Yeah. Well, let's 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 have some variety for our dudes. We've got enough bears. You wanna say like yes. Okay. Perfect. Um, or no, no, okay. Yep. Okay. And again, <laughs> the bear suit is available in outdoor retreat. It's an outdoor retreat. Yeah. But if you wanted to dress them up in a funky new costume, we do have the knight. Oh yeah. The knight in armor. So, our, our, so our, our ladies also need to have some outfits. Yeah. So let's go through here and let's customize for a female adult. Let's the other, make them knights. The other day we did a knight and we also did a little twist that uh, <laughs> made us laugh for quite a while. We we um Oh yes. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do it again. You guys are gonna see. <laughs> um we're sorry. So so which knight, Azure, which one do you like? The blue, the blue is my favorite. Azul, Azul. Do, do we want to do uh, like one or two? Let's do two colors. Okay, and then so we'll go ahead and uh, like we just said, go up here and, and give him a second outfit. Yeah. Um, what's the other knight costume that you like, Azure? Um, There's a really nice Ooh, gold one. Is the Twi'lek Dancer? That's a a, one of the Star Wars. It's Twi'lek, mm -hmm. Twi'lek, Twi'lek, I'm, I'm yeah. sorry. You want to do the gold? One of the gold Perfect. ones, yeah. All right, cool. And uh, do we want to customize the hat? Yes. <laughs> so we found that Wiener Knights. Yeah, let's, let's add it to the other. We we, Wiener Knights make thing. us laugh quite a bit. Perfect. And so, um, Wiener Knights of the Round Table. Yay! Yeah. So now that you can see that we have a uniform in everybody, yep. and now people know that this is our group. So, before we keep going, we also should do some club points. So, when you start a club, you get club points. Club points can be spent to purchase club perks, and these are this is really the meat and the progression of clubs. And it's really open ended. Like, exactly. you can customize every club to be different. Club, so, if we scroll back up to the top, club, right, there's, right, some, right. there's some club perks in here that allow you to be. What are we doing with the thumb? <laughs> There's some club perks in here that allow you to be infamous or popular, and this will kind of make Sims in the world hate you or like you, depending okay. on your perk. You can buy cool handshakes, so when your clubs meet in the world, they'll actually do this special handshake. And then here we have our social bonuses, so if you want to make a, a woohoo club, which we know everyone likes to do, uh, you can buy it by... So PG! Wow, PG. All, right, all right, all right, fine. My favorite, though, however, is the, is the skill bonuses. This will really give you a huge skill boost in yes. your Sims progression. So if you're trying to go for that athletic career, you may want to join a fitness club and work out together with your fitness and, skill and, boost. And they, you can even set their gathering place at the gym. So you're gonna hang out at the gym, yep. you're gonna get more points when you're at the gym. Yeah, this will really, really rocket your, your Sims progression extremely fast. So Azure, tell us about the vibes. The vibes, I love the vibes because if you want your club to show up somewhere and to feel a certain way, to be in a certain emotion, you can choose a club 
club vibe and that'll happen for you. So do you want to say like our club maybe is energized? They're really peppy. Yes. So this means that we have a way, and we're going to show you in a second, that we can make them energized. And if you guys have been paying attention, we actually have a new aspiration track for clubs because yeah. we want to sort of guide you through the content and give you some instruction. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then at the bottom, we also have things, and there's three powers to those vibes. Like you can give them like the energized vibe yeah. and you start small, but... We also have oh, that's um, my favorite. Rally, Rally the Troops, Rally which the is a way to like keep everyone going. So if yeah. you're doing that new yes. dance club, you want to stay out later. Then we have clothing and decor. So when you're making that special hangout, you could put flags up mm -hmm. or the door. You can also have leather, like, jackets. leather jackets in these. Yeah. Half, like, so we can have like bare leather jackets <laughs> that we walk around in. And they all kind of spot, sport the club logo that you've chosen. It's really cool. It's like the weirdest version of Greece you've ever heard of. <laughs> so, yes. so we were talking about group activities. And, and this is, let's take a quick look at the buffs. Let's go ahead and let the game play a little bit here. Look at the buffs. Yeah, we're going to let the game play a little so bit they, while we're our, doing this. Our clubs can greet and stuff. So you can see here, and you get this beautiful view. Remember off in the distance we told you, and these are the ruins, and they got some graffiti and some overgrowth it's it's, it's gone what are you doing? What are you I'm doing? just I'm letting them see the the club hangout we built here. And so you see them all over here greeting and hanging out and they're talking yeah, to each other. Each they're other. roaring yeah. at each other. But let's talk about some of the things that they can do. Oh, let's set a rule. We have to set a rule for the bonfire. Oh, we haven't set a rule for the bonfire. Yeah. We've done this demo a thousand times. So really before. quickly, if you see something you want your Sims to do, you can go in and right retrofit now. the club immediately and that takes place on the spot and you don't have to reload so or do anything. We can click on it, it says light and it's going to give us the green thumb because it's like, hey, you should do that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So remember, we were talking about group activities. We wanted to have new ways for you to play with lots of different sims. And what's important is that we could start this and oh. instead of having to call each, oh God, oh, get he's out of fire. fire. <laughs> he, he barely even light. He barely oh, survived no. that one. Oh no, that's bad. So <laughs> you gotta work on those We can now, you. if you notice here, we have dance together or hang out together and they have that diamond icon. So we can say that and all of the Sims are now gonna come over here as a group. So if you're going to the dance club, you could say, let's dance. You can get drinks. You could basically control all of your Sims at the same time. Do that new group dancing. And get them yeah. you know, to hang out and, and, and do oh. new <laughs> objects. <laughs> Sweet moves, you know, <laughs> they've got the green here. That's pretty good. And so you can see them all dance, and then you can easily come over here to the pool and say, hey, let's let's uh, let's let's swim, swim here together. together. Yeah. And then we're gonna cancel the, the, the bonfire. Yeah, oh my that. god, that bear's getting down. Yeah. Oh, there's the new fire. Doing fire dancing. Oh, she, <laughs> she has low dance skills, so she just oh. caught herself on fire. The nice. house is so pretty. Yeah, it's pretty nice. And, and, and remember, we said you can come in here and we can actually lock everything. So we can yes. click on these doors and say, lock this door so that it's everyone but the Earth signs are us. No, we only want everyone, the Earth Yeah. Everyone else is locked out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's everyone else oh, okay, yeah, can't yeah. come in here. But now, so we have our whole group swimming together. And because this is what they like, they want to do it. Let's show off some moves on the jump yeah. platform. So here's the new, uh, first off, let's, uh, let's use our, um, our mood list. So remember, we, oh, we, yeah. we had a vibe. So clubs, and we could do uh, <laughs> welcome member to Earth Signs or Us, yeah. set club vibe. So we're going to say energize vibe. Uh, and if you also notice when you click on them, because hugging is something we want you to do. Oh, it's gotten it's gotten lowered now. But um, on friendly, uh, where did it go? Yeah, hug. We actually tell you here, hey, by the way, hugging is a thing that your group yep. should do. So he's going to come out here. He's going to pump the crowd He's going to pump everybody. Yeah. He's like, yeah. And so now we're all energized. So again, you can control your whole group. And we're gonna jump for the group, and we're gonna do a swan dive. I hope we fail miserably, which might mean that our Sims' trunks fall off, and that they fall on their face, which is hilarious. <laughs> so while our Sim is going over here, Azure, tell us about these natural pools. The natural pools are lovely. You can make them in different colors. Um, and then we also have some things that you can see. With the bubbles and yes. new decor. And some You can put plants in there. You can change the color borders. of the water. What are you doing, guys? Oh no. He's a little nervous. Is somebody on fire? I don't know. I'm running away though. I'm scared. Oh, they're swimming laps. Oh, oh no. <laughs> he just belly flopped. That was that great. That wasn't good. No, it wasn't. Oh, that was embarrassing. Yeah, he's, he's having a bad day because he's burnt himself and he did the belly flop. Yeah. We wanted you to be able to set up a party at these lots and so you can actually go to the event, set up a dance club, and when you show up here, there'll be a DJ, a bar, People will be dancing, and all that will be set up for you. But we didn't want you to have to go home because you needed to use the restroom. Yeah. That's a lame party. So we put these bushes in the world, and you can sleep in the bushes. You can pee in the bushes. You can woo in the bushes. And 
that sounds like, all right, why do I care? But it has the really subtle and important effect of it doesn't cancel your party and what yeah. you're doing. Mm -hmm. So you notice that we are slowly ticking up points. You get points for being in a gathering and for doing things that your gathering is telling you to do. Yep. And so you'll notice that your sims are going to come in here and do these things that you're supposed to be doing. Yeah. Um, and Instead of hang out really by fire. So. fire. Well, and that's yeah, because that's he was told, rule. hang out by fire. And so yeah. the sims are going to come over and do Sounds fire. Sounds dangerous. And we, you know, if we told our sims to fight or woohoo or, or repair things, like one of our favorite clubs is you could set up a club where you tell everyone to clean and garden and repair stuff and you can say guys we're hanging out at my house and everybody will show up and just clean your house and cook for you and you could basically create like a free labor club yeah um it's a or just a very helpful a very yeah. helpful a neighborly club yes um there's uh there's been some really funny uh ones we've already made so uh what if we um what if we what, what if we mixed up some of these uh, club activities and like went somewhere else? Do you guys want to go see one more venue Garden. that we haven't seen so far? We should go to the Von Haunt. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So we were talking about these special venues that have all sorts of special properties. So one thing that's super exciting is we wanted to make it really easy for you to travel with your group because again, why stop the party? So you hit travel and everyone's already selected. You can add some more if you want, but we're gonna sit here and do this. And we're gonna say, travel to the venues. So in the past, you know, like the Hermit Lot in Outdoor Retreat and the Alien World in, um, oh my God, uh, Get, Get to Work. To work. Yep. No, 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 not, if you, not enough of you have found the Alien World, go find it. Uh, sometimes they were a little too hidden, they were hard yeah. to find. And so we wanted to make these really easy to find because they're, we don't wanna hide them, they're really cool. So over here, on this map, you can click the ancient ruins. And this is a great place for a party, and it's also yeah. beautiful, and it's like, you can have a really romantic date here. It's a great place to propose. Um, here, right now, we're at the Bluffs, um, and it's not available because that's where we are right now. And then over here, we have the Von Haunt Estate. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna travel there. We're gonna fly across the neighborhood. <laughs> So the weird thing is, is that now we're going to a different club. Our Sims will do the things we've told them, but if those things aren't on this lot, we won't see as much of that club behavior. Yeah. So the cool thing is, is we can just dynamically change it, yep. and we can customize it to the lot we're on. Yeah. And it takes seconds. It's really pretty cool. Yeah. Maybe one of the rules as soon as we get in, let's add the head, hedge maze rules. See if they. Yes. And, and if you notice the here, they're um, <laughs> they're in a gathering again, and they're going to go ahead and spin back into their costumes. The ghosts are there. Oh yeah. So this is um this is these are the ghosts that uh, Bernard and uh, Mimsy. Uh, there's a lot of story here. You'll notice these plaques that you can click on to get some story moments as you explore this lot. This is a special lot that. There's a lot of neat things here that we hooked up and we're really proud of it, but we can come in here and let's go to the details. And uh, like, so so we, we're, not gonna, we're not gonna do this anymore, but we could say that, you know, we wanna wander yeah. the maze. Let's mm -hmm. wander the hedge maze. And we could say that we don't wanna play in fire anymore and we don't wanna swim, but we still wanna hug and we still wanna sure. roar. Yeah. Um, is there anything else we wanna do here? You wanna show off another social rule? Maybe something like woohoo or fight, something a little more. We said that they can't fight. Oh no, we said they can't Give be mean. Give me me. Yeah. So, well, and sometimes you can create conflicting rules that yeah. might do weird stuff. So we'll give them a bonus here. Oh, we have a hundred more points. Let's, uh... Let's get a club handshake. Yeah, we can which, show that off. What, nice. Do you like front, back, high, low, or cross point, point? Cross, cross, cross point. point, point. Cross, cross, cross point. point. All right, cross, cross, point. let's do it. <laughs> We're going to cross, cross point. Um, so now we have our new rules. We've set these up, and we can even come in here and be like, "You're out of this, Jay." Yeah. Uh, but we don't want to kick Jay out. He's pretty nah. cool. Um, so we're gonna come over here now, and where's oh there's the maze. Look there at this. Is. This is so beautiful. So we One come over here. One of my favorite here. things about the maze too that uh, Sim Guru Jill told me is that so you know you set a destination for your Sims and they go directly there, um, but we, with the maze we've actually made it so that they can get lost. They can we, get. We've deliberately around. hooked it up to screw yes. them up. Mm -hmm. And so he said, wander the maze together, and let's go right click, and we'll find our little troop of wiener knights and bears and llamas. So you notice here he's wandering around, around in his bathing suit. Uh, yeah. He's trying to figure out what's happening, and you know the Wiener Knight's going this way. We can follow her. She knows her. where she's going. Yeah. Does she? Actually, one thing I <laughs> nope. probably oh, not. Nope. She went down a dead end. She's confused. <laughs> as oh. soon as the the maze was built, the first thing I did is I hit the tab button. Actually, went down into the maze and actually tried to find my way through. Yeah, it. so it was really fun. Yeah, and if we want to show you that, you hold Q and you go all the way down. Zoom out a little bit. Oh, wow. There you go. Oh, wow. So now you can actually kind of try to find your way out. So you use the W, the W A S D keys. This reminds me of Doom. And you can actually. <laughs> you, oh, this is a dead end. Azure, 
do you have any you have any final thoughts that you want to close with? Because I'm going to close this all up unless you have, you give me your final thought, and I've got I've got our I've got our triple final Sim thoughts. Simguru Romeo and Sim myself yeah. under Simguru Absolutely. Azure. We're yeah. on Twitter, and we really really want to hear all about the different clubs yeah. that you guys are making with the game. So please please please, and we'll share retweet them, with the them team. to our huge audiences. We love them. Um, you guys are so creative. So share with us about the different clubs you're sure. making. Antonio, any parting thoughts? Um, go play clubs. Go make crazy stuff. I can't. I can't wait for you guys to get your hands on. Oh, you guys can get your hands on. It's out now. Yeah. Yay. So I, we've made some crazy stuff here in the studio. I can only imagine what you guys are gonna make out there. Basically, we love this pack. We've been working on this pack for a very long time. Uh, it, it, was, it was a bit of a challenge and a mm -hmm. risk for us because we haven't done something like clubs before, and it was really scary for a while. And we're we're so excited that you guys are excited about it, and we cannot wait to see what you create. So. Please follow these two on Twitter. Uh, come join us on Facebook. Show us your clubs. Show us your screenshots. Tell us your stories. Go on the forums. And, uh, you know, have a great holiday. Yeah. And yeah happy holidays.